Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 20th of 2021. Well, it is titled Lynn's Dark Nebula 1251. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a dark nebula. Now we often look at emission nebulae and reflection nebulae, which are regions of star form. We usually associate with regions of star formation. So are dark nebulae, but dark nebulae are not glowing. They are, as their name suggests, dark. So they are not giving off any light. They are actually concentrations of dust that block out the light from behind them. So we see here many fewer stars within the darkest densest areas of this nebula. And that is not because there are not stars back behind there as there are in other regions of this image, but simply that there is so much dust in between us and those stars that we simply cannot see them. Now that dust is not dense, it is spread over many, many light years. So there's a lot of space between the dust, but there's enough there that no matter what line of sight you choose, eventually it hits a dust particle and that blocks out the light from behind behind. It's similar to looking through a forest when you're in a denser part of the forest, where you can see that no matter where you look, you, your eye strikes the trunk of a tree. So you can't see through to the edge of the forest because there are trees in the way. But that doesn't mean you cannot continue walking and there's not plenty of places to move around through the forest. Well, there's lots of empty space within these dark nebulae as well. But they are associated with star form formation and newly forming stars in the darkest densest areas. Stars are just beginning to form. So they are just beginning to condense out of these dark dust clouds. And this is where the density is the highest. And we're starting to begin to see that. Could we look in the infrared, we would see those stars beginning to form within these dark nebulae. Now we can see some other objects in here as well. And in within the dark areas, you'll see some little redder areas that seem to not look like point images of stars. And this can be an example of a Herbig Aro object. Those are not actually stars, but are associated with stars. And in fact, when stars form, often jets of material are expelled outward perpendicular to the axis along which they are condensing. And those uh, jets of material will strike material that is still in the process of forming or still denser spots within the interstellar medium and cause them to glow. So we see those as some of those redder Herbig Aro objects within this nebula as well. And all of those are things that are associated with star formation. So we are seeing a little bit of a star forming region here, where new stars are, be are continuing to form as they do within a galaxy like our Milky Way. So that was our picture of the day for September 17th of 2021. It was titled Lynn's Dark Nebula 1251. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Rubin's Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.